Okay, for this presentation we're going to talk about the assignment formulas you're going to be doing for your Module 2 assignment. And I have a spreadsheet up here that is very close to what you're doing in the assignment. We're just going to be talking about slightly different parameters, but we'll use the same formulas. So, first formula, uh, the sum if function. We're going to, like we said with formulas, the way you enter them, it equals sum if open parentheses. Now if you are new to a formula I would suggest at this point that you go and click on this little button right here because here's where Excel gives you some help on how to how to run this. So you got range, criteria, sum range. Your range is the range of cells you want evaluated. Your criteria is condition or criteria in the form of a number, expression, or text that defines which cells will be added. Your sum range is the actual cells to sum. So we're going to evaluate, since we're going to be looking at how many minutes Arnold uses deadlifting. Okay, so we're going to say we want to look at these cells. Excel, please look at these cells. We're going to have you figure some things out. Your criteria is deadlift. That's all we're really worried about now. We have one criteria, how much time is spent deadlifting. Your sum range, the actual cells to sum. So what are the numbers we want Excel to add up? Now, before you even hit OK, <coughs> Excuse me. You can look down here at formula results as 335. If there's no number there, you're probably not going to get a good result if you hit OK. All right. This one looks just fine. We hit OK. 335. Now, if you want to know how much time he spends benching, squatting, curling, all of those things, um, then you could just do this over again. Equals sum if. Okay, and go through that whole thing again. Or we could simply copy this down. Now, if we did, right now we're going to get bad results because if you look at this, it has stopped, it moved down with us, as I said it would in the other presentation, and we're missing some of the data up here. So that doesn't work. Instead, we're going to have to use what we talked about in the other presentation, which is the absolute referencing. So since we know that we're always going to be talking about this table, we can hit F4 on these two, and we can hit F4 here, leaving only this F5 to move with copying. So now if we copy this down, these two have remained the same, which we wanted it to, but this one moved down so that this one is looking just at curls and not at deadlift anymore. Okay, if that's confusing, stop this presentation, go back to where I started talking about it and look at it again. Basically, it means that instead of just leaving these alone, we told Excel we only want to look at these ones, but we want this one to be able to move down when we copy it. Okay, we'll do the same thing on all the rest of these to allow you to copy them safely or effectively. Now, what about um, the average? minutes that this person spent deadlifting. Well, it's a very similar formula. Average if. So what we're really telling Excel is we want an average, but only if they satisfy certain conditions. Okay, so again, new formula. What is the range? Same as before. Your criteria, deadlift. Average range, actual cells be used to find it right here now before I even go on from this I'm just gonna make these absolute leave that one alone I know I'm going to have to so I can copy it down and then you can either do one of two things you can either click and drag like that or you can also double click if you double click it will copy down as long as there's a value next to it it's just assuming that you want all of that. That can get dicey if you're doing a really big spreadsheet, but for our case, it's just very, very quick. So you just, as soon as it turns into a black cross, double click, copies it down. The way to check if you're doing this right is to click on this, click on the formula, and look to make sure that all of these are pointed at the right thing. How about the number of workouts? Can we have Excel count how many times this person did deadlift over the last however long this was? Sure. Count if, open parentheses. You're noticing these are fairly consistent. Um, 
they're similar. All right, our range, in this case, we don't have to have multiple ranges, right? Because we're only asking for the number of workouts. So really, we just need to count in this range how many, say, deadlift. All right, now I'm going to make these F4. So we always want to look at that range four times. And then it moves down for our curls. So we have sum if, average if, very, very similar formulas in this case because they're set up the same way. You put the information into Excel the same way. The count if is a little simpler because we don't have to look at two different columns. It's really just one. You're saying how many times does deadlift show up or bench or squats or curls show up in this column. That's all we really care about. That one's a little bit easier. Well, what about how many times he did deadlift at Gold's Gym? Okay. Not sure why we would care about that, but we do. Now, Excel is going to assume if we added one to this list that we want the same thing as we had before. We're going to just delete those out of there. In your assignment, it's already just sitting there. You don't have to add one, but just to tell you why I deleted those. So what if we are going to use the sum ifs function to add up all the minutes that he was deadlifting at Gold's Gym? Well, now we have to find where deadlift appears here and Gold's Gym appears here. And then add up those numbers. <clears throat> now, we could do this probably faster than it takes to create a formula. The reason we're learning the formulas is because they're a lot easier when we're talking about a lot of information. Here we're looking at, you know, just 11 rows. What would happen if you had a thousand or a million? Well, you'd use the same formulas. It'd be exactly the same. Doesn't matter how many of them there are, but manually that would be a lot harder. So, let's go with the sum ifs formula. Again, I'm going to go right back up here. Now this one is a little bit interesting. Okay, sum range, range to sum. That one's easy. Criteria range one. You notice we have a criteria range one and then a criteria one. So that means this one, range of cells you want evaluated. I want to look at this. Okay, and we can hit F4 on that one. Although I guess I don't need to. We're not doing that this time around. It doesn't matter. But you could, it wouldn't hurt anything. And then the criteria, what do we want to see? Well, in this case, it's deadlift. I'm going to type that in. I could also click on one of these and have it work just fine too. Our second criteria is whether or not it's at golds. Okay. And I could continue. I could have more criteria, but I'm not going to. Now. Notice we have a number down here, so we're fairly sure we're going to be correct. 205 minutes. Now, we can check that, you know, if we want to. There's 55 minutes. He's at Gold's. Uh, there's another 150 minutes. He's at Gold's doing deadlift. That's 205. Hey, we're right. Okay. What about if we wanted to average how long he spends deadlifting at Gold's? Very similar formula, yet again. Same as sum if and average if. See, range of cells you want evaluated, criteria, average, oh, I missed an S. <laughs> I was going to say, we're missing some criteria there. Okay, actual cells to be used to find the average right here. Criteria range, one, right here, deadlift. Criteria range 2, golds. Now, if you look off to the side, it does try to tell you, back up here you can see a little better, what the formula will, will look like. Um, we'll hit OK. There it is again. Now, here's what the formula actually looks like. Average ifs, that. I mean, by the end of this assignment, you shouldn't need to actually click that window to get into and work on it. But for now, that's fine. How about count ifs? Let's try it without this criteria range one. Now let's use this. We'll get in the habit. 
Criteria range 1. Again, we're not adding anything, so we don't have this middle column anymore. Criteria range deadlift. Criteria range 2. So, we know the total minutes spent lifting deadlift at goals was 205 minutes for an average of 102.5 minutes, and this person did that twice. Now, the last thing you need to remember to do with this assignment is to put your name at the f in the footer of this worksheet. If you notice, there's not really a footer here. In fact, you can scroll down as long as you'd like. In fact, let's hit end and down to 1,048,576 rows, and you're still never going to find the footer like you would see in Word. So to do that, you actually have to go to the page layout, or sorry, the view tab, click on the page layout view, scroll down just a little bit. This would show you what it's going to look like if you were to print it, a little bit closer anyway, and click to add footer. Now when you save it, we're going to be able to see that. If you want to be doubly sure that you never miss out on that, you can always put your name in here. Okay? That is the end of this presentation. Thank you all for watching and listening, and good luck on the assignment. Please do not, feel, do not hesitate to contact us if there's any questions. Thanks.